morning and welcome back to a new week. I have a few minutes before I need to go to Pilates. Last week, I got that free people shirt and I was saying in that video and I think, did I leave it in or did I delete it? I was talking about how I can never find jeans. They're so constricting and uncomfortable. I go to bend down and I'm like, <laughs> because they're squeezing at me. I'm, my goal this week, we're going on the great jean hunt. Sound the horns, release the hounds. <laughs> we're going on the great jean hunt. And I looked everywhere last night. I was on my computer doing some jean research. I looked in Nordstrom. I looked at Nordstrom Rack. I looked at Macy's. And not only were the only jeans that I liked way too expensive, I'm not spending $200 on jeans. The selection was really bad. Like, I didn't feel like any of it really suited me. I want. I want like 70s-ish, high-waisted, a little bit of a flare leg. So then I went on H I went on H&M's website. Plethora of jeans to choose from. I screenshotted like 10 different pairs of jeans that H&M had to choose from. I'm putting them up on the screen right now. Thanks, Sienna from the future. I just think that like their jean selection is the best. And they do have sizes that are appropriate for people of all ages. You know, if you're a woman, over 35 or 40 and you want pants that fit you like because you've got a woman's body <laughs> not the body of a 12 year old then you'll actually find jeans that fit your size um this is not an ad for h&m this is just me realizing how much i do i do really genuinely like h&m so we're gonna go there and look for jeans the other place will be thrifting so we're gonna go we're gonna compare is it good to find used thrifted jeans that are worn and comfortable? I do love shopping in the men's sections for jeans, but they don't fit my body that great. They look cool, but I have hips, I have a butt, I'm curvy, and I need the jeans to know that. <laughs> I'm done babbling for now, but we're going on the great jean hunt this week, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a fun week. Please uh, stick around. I've decided to stop parking in the parking garage because I just don't feel as safe as if I'm parking out in like an open parking lot because that parking garage is so dark. <laughs> I voted. I just dropped it off. I dropped off my ballot so I can wear my sticker. I'm gonna wear my sticker. Boom. This has been hell. I have been in absolute hell, let me tell you. And I am not one for dramatics. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe I am just a little bit. But I mean, I can take pain. My tattoo artist says I sit like a rock when I get my ribs tattooed and my stomach tattooed. I say it's the kava or I'm dead inside, one of the two or both. I have been increasingly more miserable over the past week. Actually, it's been going on since I got my tattoo. It's just slow progression and it's the way it happened last time. So let me just go ahead and say, I've been having an allergic reaction and it's something I'm, I feel like such an idiot about because it's something I've been through before and had to go to the doctor and get prescribed medication before, steroid medication, you know, to like help with the allergy when it gets so severe that it's actually gone past. If you stop using the product, it won't help you. You need help. You need like antibiotics. You go watch the lanolin story and it's pretty much the exact same thing, but except for this time, that story was when I was putting on a lip mask and it ate my face up. Like I had chicken skin. It was horrible. It was getting close to my eyeballs. I wasn't sure what was going on. I had to go to the doctor and I found out I had an allergy to lanolin. And so when I had recently got tattooed last time, I used the spray. I, I couldn't remember if it was Eucerin or Aquaphor, which it doesn't matter now because I know that both of those have lanolin in it. But I was using that and I noticed that I was like feeling the hives and I was like, huh, what's this all about? you see me like Ugh! it's because like my whole chest is still completely covered in like little tiny red rash bumps and it's like all over look at my face see I've never actually been able to catch this in real time because the last time this happened I didn't even get on camera but you can see it's like attacking my face it's all over my face and this is so weird that it's see how it's getting close to my eye 
and then this area always is the worst. So this is where I am like, huh, how does that work? Because I wasn't putting it anywhere near my face, but my whole body <laughs> from head to toe is covered in this rash. My whole, my whole body, my legs, my arms, my armpits, <sighs> my stomach, my tattoo. My tattoo is healed, but it's so itchy and like my under boob part because it's skin on skin is so irritated that like wearing a bra is even uncomfortable, which I'm actually really sad that I'm just now realizing that the Honey Love bras are so much more comfortable than my little Hanes stretchy ones that I usually wear just around the house. And this is so much softer. If I, I wish I'd been wearing this the whole time because this is actually feeling a little relieving because it's colder on the skin and like I just want to hold cold things to my face. So that's what's been going on. I um oh and then the nightmare of like getting so I did a virtual visit with a doctor because I knew what it was and I didn't want to have to go deal with the whole getting in line and whatnot and I knew that that I'm pretty sure I could show them like how I looked. I looked really bad yesterday. I've taken the antibiotics since last night so it's only been like less than 24 hours. The doctor sent in my prescription with contradictive dosage amounts like one thing said one thing and one said another so when he sent it to my pharmacist they were filling it because it had an error. Talked to them like five times throughout the day I was so frustrated. <sighs> Here's the problem. I want to go do something. I have a huge, huge, like my biggest wedding of the year on Saturday. It's my last wedding of the year and I'm going out with Bang this year. It's 12 people. Pray for me. I have supplies coming today <clears throat> just to make sure I have tons of lashes, tons of cosmetic sponges. I'm probably just going to put on a little something like around my eyes and not the areas that are like really irritated and maybe like a little powder. And that will be the most that I can do because I'm leaving my house. I've been so cooped up. Plus, I have to go get a few things for groceries that I'm out of. So we got to go. Also, the election. I can't say nothing. I am disappointed. Um, I obviously am going to vote for the candidate that is going to be... I hate talking about politics on social media. I really do. Let me just tell you something. I've got friends and family on both sides. So... I really keep, you know, I'm very diplomatic. I keep my mind open to everyone's opinions and thoughts and feelings. But I'm always going to opt for whoever is all about women's rights, women's rights to their own bodies, and LGBTQ. Um, I, that is where I stand. And so I cannot see myself voting for anybody that puts my priorities at risk. But everybody has different priorities. I hate talking about this so much because the internet doesn't make it feel safe. There's a lot of anger, which is totally understandable. It really put us in a pickle here. But I'm not going to be that person who's going to be like, screw you and your, and your thoughts and beliefs and stuff because that's just not me. You know, it's just not how I am. If someone's a little bit more passionate about it, I feel that and I get it. And I'm like, yeah, I understand this. It's not how I react to things. But if you do, that's totally your thing. And that's that's exactly what I mean. As long as no one's like bullying me into having a reaction into something in a way that they think I should. You know, that's when I'm like, hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I will distance myself from that because I don't like forced reactions like I sometimes I'm even like a slow like I got to take a minute and step back and that's why I usually just remove myself altogether so that'll be probably the last you hear of me talk about it just because I don't feel comfortable online talking about it protect your space from people who are trying to make you feel like absolute shit about this I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what we're doing <laughs> okie dokie I am ready let's do this I am gonna just wear something turtleneck because I feel like it hides the monstrosity going on on my skin. And you know that this is my favorite dress of all time. A little harness moment. I'm wearing my ancient coin and minimal makeup on my face. So this is not bad actually. I feel like this, it's not bad. It could be worse. <laughs> and the red lipstick is really distracting from it. So that worked. Um, I wanted to say a couple of things. My web shop does still have things in it and I just had somebody buy the Chloe boots that I was talking about. I really hope if you're watching this you enjoy the boots as much as I did. Well tried to but I couldn't walk in them. 
I can get them on and daydream that they were mine. I've gone on the real real since and those boots are like so expensive. So you got them for a steal and I'm so jealous, but I'm also jealous in a good way. I'm envious of your new boots because I have some similar, but they're nothing like those. Those are really special. And hopefully one day I, you know what, I can do a thing on the real world where I save a search and if a new pair come up in my size, I can keep an eye on them and I'd probably have to buy them off season because that's the trick. I'm babbling, let's go thrifting, let's go get out of this house, I can't wait. So I'm on the hunt also still for a like jean fitted top, like, I, like a button up of some sort. Um, I think I can find one. I feel like I see them at thrift stores all the time. I didn't have much success the last time. Um, but I think, I think I can find one. When I know, I know. I just get that feeling, you know? Does anybody else get that feeling when they go thrifting? They're like, I'm gonna find what I want. It's like your thrift psychic. Um, so I'm gonna look for a jean button up. And then I'm also looking for a really long necklace. And I did see one when I was thrifting with my mother-in-law and I regret not getting it. I've been doing this a lot lately where I'm really trying not to over shop. And so I put things back and then I think about them for like a whole week afterwards. Like, damn it, why didn't I get that? Okay, at first glance, I saw all of the Levi labels and I was really hopeful. And then I started to actually dig into it. I just was so nervous that most of these would fit a little too snug. I couldn't really tell. I tried holding them up to myself in the mirror. I liked the Carl Lagerfeld ones a lot, but they were super skinny. And I just was so unsure. I hate not being able to try things on. Then I popped over to the shirts and took a little peruse. This vanity is beautiful. I honestly would have bought it, but I was afraid the mirror would be too tall for the low ceilings I have in my house. I had a successful thrift haul and found more obviously than just a pair of jeans. There was a girl actually trying jeans on under her dress in the middle of the jean aisle. That's how desperate we're getting. <laughs> we're trying on jeans in public, <laughs> pulling them up over our butts to make sure they fit. I told her that's smart. I wish I didn't wear my leggings or else I would be doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Honestly, where's my hand sanitizer? I just wanna make sure I'm like, really sanitizing myself since I have, you know, a weaker immune system today, fighting off everything, take care of myself. But I was thinking it's only, it's not even one o'clock. I could go to the mall and I could go look for jeans today at H&M. And I kind of think I want to because I don't want to, I don't want to be out and about tomorrow as well. I'd rather just stay home and try everything on. So I think I'm gonna just go now and get it done with. I actually got some barrel jeans. <laughs> oh my god. I saw them as everyone did the first time they came out and was not sure what to think of them. Some of them are intensely barreled so you just straight up look like a bow-legged cowboy which is actually a kind of cute look. I get it. And it wasn't until like a couple of girls that I absolutely love in like the tattoo world are sporting and rocking their barrel jeans and I was like sold <laughs> sold and if, it, if anybody likes to dress in ways that kind of makes them laugh a little bit sometimes like I see the humor in some things that people are like that's ridiculous I would never wear that 
you won't really catch me saying that because if it's ridiculous, I'm in. <laughs> I want it to be ridiculous. Oh my God, my lip just split so, so bad. I need to like get this lipstick off and just slather my lips in lotion. Oh, it's awful. I'm kind of feeling like my body is tapping out. So we'll get back, we'll go through all of this. I should save it for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go try it on and we'll sit down and talk about it tomorrow. That's what we'll do. I couldn't help myself. I know I said I wasn't going to put any makeup on today, but when I <laughs> woke up this morning, I don't wanna I don't wanna gross you out right now, but you know that scene in the craft where she had done the spell Nev Campbell and her back, all the scars started to just peel away underneath the laser, and they were like shocked because it revealed this smooth back. That's what happened to my face. It was covered and it still is very kind of crusty and full of bumps, but you can't see because I managed to cover it up. But if you got really close, you could see there's texture still, which I don't usually have. And here, if you can see around like the bottom of my lip, you probably can't see it on camera, but up close, um, there's like so much redness and discoloration and like the corners are still a little chapped, but I've been slathering on the lotion, slathering on the lip treatments and <laughs> I'm feeling human and I tanned, but I exfoliated very gently a layer of just flaky skin off of this whole area of my face around my nose. I have shed a layer like a snake <laughs> and I'm feeling human again and I just had to do it. I had to put some DIY lash extensions on. So these are those like seven day lashes and I have those on and I have on a self tan. And I wasn't sure if it was wise to self tan because I do still have like a bit of like a irritated skin reaction going on. But I, I was like, I'm gonna risk it. And I'm only gonna wear the self tan for the better part of the day and then rinse it off and then go put on 10 pounds of Lubriderm and hopefully I'll be back to normal. <laughs> but I feel 10,000 times better, you have no idea. Just a little tan, especially because I was already complaining about feeling really pale. I just couldn't take another minute of it, especially my legs. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, the first thing I actually wanna do is just the jeans and the comparison of the jeans. We're gonna talk about that first because then the thrift stuff can come after. <laughs> The thing okay here's the thing i found some jeans that i actually think are my favorite out of all of them at the thrift store the problem is is my stupid stomach <laughs> my belly is making it so that finding jeans is difficult because if i could just flatten my stomach a little bit more when i keep up with my plotties and just keep doing what i'm doing i hopefully will be able to get rid of it a lot of it's perimenopausal hormonal and so it's just one of those things i'm actually going to my doctor in um, a couple of weeks to just kind of discuss like maybe finding out she we've already done the blood work and we're going to look more into my hormonal balance and seeing if there's something going on there as to why I can't seem to lose weight no matter what I do. We all know ladies if you are endometriosis and perimenopausal and hormonal and you have belly blow and you can't get rid of it and don't feel too bad about it. Don't beat yourself up about it because it's awful to have to feel like you have to look like this perfect image and uh, the views of anyone, social media, celebrities, anybody who makes you feel horrible about um, having a bit of a belly. It will make you feel better if you are able to figure out why, I think, uh, especially when it comes to pants, you know? That's my main thing is I don't like to wear pants that don't have stretch because I have more curves now. So I found the first pair of jeans that I found is th these, and these are called Verve. <laughs> so close to fitting, and they do fit. I can zip them up. I was thinking of returning them, but I really, is it so stupid to have a goal? They're only $12.50 to try to get into these a little bit more comfortably. Is that a thing I can do or is that stupid? I just love them. I love the fit. I love the uh, bit of a 
um, distressed look to them. The bottoms of them have a cool distressed look. The color is the perfect color jean. Uh, they actually make my butt look really great. I just can't sit down. I can't sit down. It's just not going to happen. So there, uh, can you find jeans at the thrift store? Sure. But I would say that maybe this can be continued to be continued because I would like to go to a local vintage, like a vintage store. Um, they always, they always mark things up a little bit. So that's the only unfortunate thing is that you pay the price for vintage jeans that are going to know what they've got. And so they're going to cost more. I'm still itchy. So I am still going to be like, <laughs> I feel like if I tried going to a couple of the local vintage shops that I can try finding something there. Cause I really want like a sailor flare leg style high waisted jean. So that's my next kind of hunt, but I wanted some basic day to day jeans and these really are great. So if only I could have tried them on. That would have been great you know and so since that's the only pair of jeans that i got at the thrift store just to give the thrift store a little bit more credit that you can still find jeans that you like in thrift stores i whipped out these pair of levi's i've had these are 36 waist so these are actually quite a little bit bigger on me and i found these in the men's section they're very old button fly which i love button fly levi's i love button fly levi's so much and they're really relaxed, very baggy. I can pull them all, I can take these off without unbuttoning them. <laughs> but if I pull them up kind of high and just wear a crop with them, they're comfortable and I can wear them, but they just aren't that flattering on my butt, I feel like. But maybe you'll see in the cutaways, maybe I've, I think that they don't look good because I'm like turning in the way I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know. Maybe they are. But these are some men's jeans that I got thrifting. They're huge though. So I, I'm trying to find that in between, like the perfect relaxed fit Levi that's worn in and that is used because the used ones are so soft and they've been washed a thousand times. So we'll see. But did I find successfully on this trip a pair of thrift jeans that I like? Not really. Is the, the answer to that going to a department store and getting a brand new pair of jeans? Well, well, I'm gonna tell you. Now I would also like to maybe revisit this and compare vintage stores to like say Nordstrom Rack. Like what if I did those two and try to find, ugh, try to find maybe a couple of jeans that way. So maybe we'll do this again. So I went to H&M. I had already pre-planned the ones I went online. I would recommend doing this. They have too many options. So figure out what jean you're looking for, a few different kinds, and then beeline to that section. They do have them labeled really nicely so that you can find the ones that you want because you will become overwhelmed very quickly if you don't have a bit of a plan ahead of time. So many jeans so many sections of jeans i was like wait straight leg boot cut this wide leg boot cut that tall waist low waist itty bitty waist <laughs> in your face you get sprung like there's just so many options and i i knew what i wanted so that was really good apparently this is a uh, 20 percent recycled cotton and i have the wide high waist now these are a little mom jean and they looked really cute on and they fit really well so they're practical are they the most flattering jeans I've ever owned? No, but I loved how practical they were. So I'm excited to kind of see the cutaway here and um, see how I really like them because they feel so good on. But when I look at them in the photo that I took, I'm like, are those two mom jeans? But I do like that they're a more wide leg bottom. It's a little bit closer to the sailor pant. They're a little bit higher up on the waist so they have they check all the boxes um i do like them and they are the color that i want i actually would think i would like maybe to get a lighter pair so when i do do this again if i do it again i'll try to get a lighter pair that fit just as well as these and they're so affordable 29 dollars at h&m they're so affordable so if you're looking for affordable jeans that fit a woman's body that's the thing about h&m their sizes are very true to size. Like it's what you would expect. It's not like Abercrombie or Aeropostale when it says it's a 14 or a 16 and it's this big. Like it just makes you feel like absolute crap. But I feel like these look good on my butt. I feel like they look good on my body and they're flattering. Then I had to just for the sake of variety 
and curiosity. I had to try the barrel leg jeans. They're silly. They're very silly. <laughs> howdy partner it's just they are so bow-legged and um interesting and but they're they're so stylish and i feel like what would this look like with a bodysuit and these and maybe my gucci belt and some cool like slides or some loafers and like a really nice big chunky sweater like i could really style this up and I, that's what i think i'm getting excited about is there's so many things that i can't wear when i'm in my dress and skirt land i don't really have anything to wear with shirts that i love so much that i can't really wear with any of the skirts that i have i don't like the way they look so i have tons of sweaters and shirts i feel like would just look better if i had a good pair of jeans to wear with them but let's get into the thrift because that's so exciting you guys the thrift you guys the thrift <laughs> that's my favorite i love it it's a problem i mean it's not a problem why is it a problem it's my hobby okay let it go i just washed this so it's a little bit on the wet side and i didn't wash it before i did the video cutaway so if, it, if the mirror has like that sticker smudge on it please do pardon that because i was able to get it clean but i found the long necklace and i told you i would i was like i'm gonna find one there that i love and i knew it this isn't actually quite as long as i would have liked it to be but it's still pretty dang long i mean it's long but i wanted like maybe not even a charm just a nice layering piece so i'll still keep looking for a long chain I can maybe double wrap if I want but something that just looks really nice with a sweater that's kind of long and yeah how many times am I going to say long and that's it that's all I got <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about it but I love this design it almost looks like a pressed flower on the inside and it, it has like a blue jean color to it so I thought it was perfect for this video for just having like jean discussions and having this blue jean floral design and it's just so pretty isn't it it was eight bucks and then if i want i can flip it around and wear it on the other side and have a mirror i also now have a mirror to look at my crusty chin and check and make sure that i don't look like a monster and <laughs> it'll be very handy but i love it i think it's a really cool locket i'll just leave it on so uh, the next thing we'll discuss is more jean. Let's talk about jean because I did find a couple of things that are still jean. I wanted a jean long sleeve and I want one a little bit on that like dark jean side like that Ralph Lauren from a few videos ago where it's really fitted and looks great with a floral skirt. Still on the hunt for one like that but this one got oh this is one of those yes audible out loud moments when i'm on the rack and i'm going through and i see something that excites me i'm like yes i always say it out loud and i wonder if people around me are like what you find what you find <laughs> because i would because i can't help myself this is iro jeans and it's a lovely jean freaking oh i'm in, i'm in, i'm in love with this it will look so good with the barrel pants i love the idea of this outfit baggy loose fitted kind of like just cool girl casual ah uh, i'm so excited to style this or i can have it open front really long so it goes past the butt which i love iro is a brand that i have a pair of shoes from the real real so as soon as i saw that i was like that's luxury brand because they have that on the real real and those shoes are high quality another thing that is kind of in the jean land is this black dress it looks like black jean, like black denim. And this is what I was thinking about wearing tomorrow. So I need to go throw all of the thrift in the wash after this. My face is so itchy, but I literally think it's just the hair on my head tickling my face. By the way, can I just say really quick, I really like the color that my hair is fading into. I think it looks really nice and natural, a good solid dark blonde color. I'm into it. I, at first I was a little concerned it was too dark, but this is like my fourth or fifth wash since I've done it and I love it. I love it. Actually today was the day that I looked in the mirror and was like, okay, yeah, I like this color a lot. So beige blonde, if you're looking for a blonde that's a little bit more natural and flattering, um, especially now that I have my tan back, I keep seeing myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, <laughs> I don't look like a monster anymore. Anyway, this is a universal thread double XL. So it's a little bit on the big side, but um, I can totally wrap it because it has a thing around the waist. And it also looks like it shrunk pretty significantly in the wash. Whoever washed this, it's so wrinkled. So when I wash it and dry it, I need to make sure I iron this for tomorrow. But I really like it. I love that it's denim and I love myself a shirt dress. Those are some of my favorite types of 
outfits and uh yeah it's just uh i love a collar you know it's professional looking so i feel like wearing this tomorrow would be great because i i'm wearing my professional black like a makeup artist should or is preferred in my book but um no judgment if you don't if you're a makeup artist <laughs> so anyway uh but yeah i love universal thread and it was 550 so i'm like just the price alone is why i grabbed it it was just so cheap and then I found this in the men's section when I was trying to look at jeans. They didn't really have anything in the way of jeans. But this, I just, gr I grazed the men's shirts because I always do. And it's a Patagonia Organic Cotton XL. Lovely plaid. So it's like tan and blue. It's so soft. It feels so nice. It's a little bit see-through. And it was... $13.99. A little bit pricier than I would have liked to have paid for it. But I couldn't pass it up because it's Patagonia. And... I just knew that I would, this would be one of those things I would look back and go, damn it. <laughs> so I, I didn't want to have regrets. This literally I only bought because of the price, <laughs> $4.99 and it was half off because this was the color that was on sale, the gray. So it was literally like a $2 sweater. Another universal thread, it's a medium, so it's a little bit more on the, you know, it would, it could have been baggier on me. I mean, it's pretty baggy actually. Eh, that would have been too much. I'm glad this is a medium. But it's a lovely color. It's this beige. It's very flattering. It's a color that I like on me. This is kind of like giving Freddy, like Christmas Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Christmas Freddy Krueger. But it's so soft. Or Cheshire Cat, one of the two. This is a Sag Harbor. $7.50. Turtleneck velour sweater. Stripes. Horizontal. Can be a little iffy. But I think this would actually be kind of cool under a dress or harnessed with something it definitely looks better on me if it's a little cinched in so i need to figure out styling this but i couldn't pass it up because it looked kind of christmasy to me it was giving like like with this shiny material it's kind of just giving like a little christmasy fun i don't know the red and the black and i don't know if we're going to go to the zoo again this year for the zoo lights which they do at night Christmas lights around the zoo and you can walk around. It's really, really nice. And I would love to do that again this year. That was so lovely to do with the family. And so this would be like the perfect thing. It just reminds me of that. I don't know. It's weird. I've had, I picture clothes for moments. Like I'll be like, okay, we're going to go do that. Well, I, this shirt will be great for that. It's, I plan my outfits like that. And then finally, the last thing, I'm trying to go through this so fast because I know it's going to be so long. But last thing we have, well, uh, you could see how excited I am about this in the video. This is a corduroy brown baby doll dress. <laughs> That's my favorite. And it's by Time and True, which I don't remember what brand that is. Is that at Target or is that I actually don't know where that brand is sold. But it was $7.99 for it. And what an adorable dress. Oh my gosh, I need to flatten this and iron it down. So I have a couple of things I'm gonna need to iron and fix but I am a sucker for a baby doll dress especially corduroy I have one other that is this beautiful burgundy ruffled corduroy baby doll dress that is one of my favorites to wear around the Christmas season so I've only had it since last season so I've, I haven't worn it that much and it's one of my favorites so this is now going to be another option for me in a more chocolate brown so that's nice it's really it's really nice so soft so comfortable elasticated sleeves and I think I can harness it that's it that is my little clothing haul
the best bacon that I've ever had. My husband's doing some side work for this guy who just got a bacon dehydrator or something and that's what he's helping him set up and attach the electrical for. And so he gave him some. And I made a little bit of it this morning to test it out. I immediately texted my husband, can you get more of this? Because that was so good, I'll pay for it. I will buy it from him, oh my God. I think he gets it from a butcher, but then he dehydrates it. Oh, I was in heaven. And then that sourdough is from a local bakery. It was just one of those wholesome, delicious breakfasts so I could take my medication. I've been getting really good this week on eating first before coffee so that I can take my medicine. And it's getting me into the habit of like, getting my breakfast going first. And that's not something I usually do. I skip breakfast usually, which I, I don't know which thing my body prefers. I honestly don't. I usually am not hungry in the morning. I was gonna finish this video after that wedding because I just wanna get it up and be done so I can move on to this coming week. But um, I'm returning the jeans. I'm returning all of the jeans. I don't like any of them. And this is why I just give up and just go back to wearing dresses. <laughs> okay, here, here's what's really going on. <sighs> the barrel jeans are too big. I got a size too big. It was a whim. It was a, just a second thought on the way out. I had a different pair in my hand I had tried on that I liked I was gonna get. And then I was like, oh, I want black. And then I was like, maybe a little bigger. And I just grabbed them on the way out. So that was just kind of a rush decision that I should have tried on and thought through and really made sure. I don't think I want black. I think I want just a dark denim barrel jean. So I wanna exchange those for the right size and the right color. And then the other ones, check this out. Exhibit A, look at the back of this. Look at my butt. What is this? What is this little like spot of dis discoloration on the butthole of <laughs> these jeans. It makes it look like my butthole is leaking. It looks like a wet spot. And luckily I caught that in editing. I wouldn't have seen that just looking in the mirror back at myself. I had to see it on camera. And I was like, what is this? What is this dot? So somehow in the manufacturing of these jeans, this little spot of color is discolored on the exact middle part of the pants. It's not a flattering look, it is not cute, and it's embarrassing. And I will not <laughs> walk around looking like I shat my pants. No, 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 no. So luckily I did not take any of the tags off. I can take them back. And now I'm like, I really liked those, but this is my chance. Do I want to try some different ones? So now I just want to go back again and basically start over completely. And then the ones I got from Value Village don't fit me and I am not going to buy another thing that doesn't fit and is uncomfortable that I'll never wear and waste my money. So those are going back too. But I just feel like I am kind of done with trying to buy jeans and pants from any thrift store that doesn't allow you to try them on there because it's a waste of my time. Because I went in and did all of that found like 80,000 pairs that looked cute but couldn't try any of them on and was too scared to buy them and then look what happens. So this is why I just don't bother. I just buy dresses and I go that route instead. So I have a lot more to do with the jean journey. <laughs> I have more to do in this denim dilemma. I have more to do in the great jean hunt. Um, so that's where we're at today, okay? We're going jean hunting. I have the appropriate clothing to go do this. Last time I wore a dress and leggings. Who does that when they have to go try on jeans? I have on a Honey Love bodysuit, so all in socks, so I can pull on the jeans over top of this quickly and swap out what I'm going to be trying. And then I posted at the beginning teaser of this whole dilemma on TikTok and three, two or three girls on TikTok said that American Eagle jeans are the best by far. Now I've worn American Eagle jeans a lot back in the day. I just kind of like am over it. You know what I mean? I just feel like that's like a, a brand that I wore a lot when I was in my maybe like early thirties. Those were the go-to jeans I would wear when I would 
bartend because they were flattering and they fit me really nice and they're comfortable. And I guess I just like am stuck. Those are like stuck in my head as that era, even though I know that American Eagle is still a current brand and comes out with current trending styles. So then I was like, well, maybe they have the kind I want. Maybe they have the tall, waisted sailor jeans of my dreams. Who knows? So I'm just going to go look. I don't even know where American Eagle is in the mall. I've never even been to it before. I didn't even know there was one at the mall. I didn't even know we had it. So I'm gonna go check that out too. So we've got more to do, much to my dismay. I really wanted to just stay home today and edit and get a lot of like admin kind of stuff done on my computer. I've got, brands have been reaching out to me ever since I got over 5,000 followers on here on YouTube. I have been getting a lot of people reaching out to me about working together. Not a lot of like paid offerings or very low paid offerings. And that's really tough for me because I edit videos and do social media marketing as like work. That's like what I do when I'm and when it's downtime for um, like bridal season. That's like what I do. That's my like second job. So when they're asking me to do it for like trade of a product, I'm like, what's in it for me? <laughs> I don't understand what you want here. You're reaching out to me to make content for you of your product and you don't want to pay me for that. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's so insulting because I'm like, this is what I do for work, but they don't know that. And then maybe, you know, there's a lot of younger, maybe like new to this whole thing, people who are just stoked to get stuff. And I mean, if somebody wants to send me something for sure, like, yeah, thanks. Thanks for sending me something. But like having to come up with concepts and edit it and do the whole thing. And it's like, you know, that's the risk that you have to take with your stuff. Like if you want to get the word out there, then you're going to have to, um, you know, just send it off to small influencers and see if they'll help kind of boost your marketing to get you going. And I was with the real real long before they were really big and had blown up. And then now I feel like they're such a huge company. And I was with them really early on before people knew really who they were. And it's only because I'm just a thrifter and I found them. You know, now they don't really work with small influencers. I was like, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, the gal who was working with all of us ended up leaving. And so I don't even know who the contact is for them. I would love to still work with the real real because I shop there every month. And it's like my favorite. So maybe one day they'll, they'll hook, a, hook a sister up for all the shout outs. And then Honey Love, who I love and I work with all the time still. I love Honey Love. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know. Don't know what to think about all that, but it's been, it's been cool. I've been getting all these opportunities. Anyway, I'm so going off on a huge tangent. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to get dressed. I'll show you what I'm wearing and then we're gonna get this freaking done because I don't want to talk about jeans anymore okay after this I need a I need a jean break <laughs> I need a jean break I'm over it <laughs> I'm gonna talk about something else this week I mean I'll always probably perpetually be on this jean hunt thing but <sighs> can we be done for now <laughs> originally I wanted to wear this but now looking at that outfit it's just too nirvana and I've got on my men's Levi's. So this is my only thing about this. If these were higher, because I need high waisted, I just do. I just don't like, see how they start to look if I'm like, <laughs> if I relax. I have to kind of like suck in so that they stay on because they're so big. I could take them off without unbuttoning them. Um, but I mean, I can keep them up over my hip. I just, I pull on them a lot. I can wear a belt, but then it takes away from the look that I'm going for. This is cute. I like this outfit. This is an H&M blazer actually. Um, and then my Honey Love bodysuit, which will be perfect for trying everything on. And I'm just gonna honestly wear some sneakers. So I'm just putting on, see when I bend over to pick, <laughs> I'm gonna put on some Adidas little sneaks. But that's, that's, that's the thing. I don't want to feel like I can't bend over comfortably. And that's the pro, I need jeans that have give and these don't at all. There's no give. There's no give. <laughs> Need some perfume. What do we want to smell like today? We're gonna to smell like love in a bottle. So we're gonna do my rose quartz. 
well i have a lot of stuff to return i have to like take a bunch of stuff back to amazon i have to go back to value village i have to go back to h&m so it's gonna be a day of errands and running around not what i had in mind for a rainy cozy start to my week but we're gonna get it done because i am determined to find jeans. So these are cute and I the way they fit is ideal. If they were just a little more high-waisted, we'd be in business and they're not bad. But I do have a good handful of old vintage Levi's, some button fly like these. I have some corduroys. I have a variety of old Levi's in my thrift stop, in my thrift store. So if you need some more measurement information, just message me. I can tell you the inseam and all of that kind of stuff if you need that. But it does have the waist size on each and some details about each pair of pants if you guys want to thrift for your own. Um, and I have them priced according to what they are going for. On on Poshmark. So that's just how I price things. I compare it to what's out there and that's what I go with. If any of you are excited about it, about getting some old Levi's like what I have on right now, you can totally thrift them. How's these shoes look with that? That's cute. Just gonna bend down for a second. I'm also supposed to start my period any second. I welcome it to clear up this because right now my mind is going a thousand miles a minute. Okay, so we're back in H&M and I've got on the darker jean barrel pants and I was still kind of on the fence about them, but I do like the way they look from the back. I just think they're cute. They, look, they remind me of painter pants and I do like them. So I did end up getting these and I got another pair, which I'll show you here in a moment. But we're off to American Eagle after the suggestion of so many people on TikTok. And I was really surprised that it was basically wall-to-wall -wall skinny jeans. And these are the sailor jean top part I'm looking for, if only they went down into more of a bell bottom. These were skinny leg, not what I'm looking for. I have a pair of skinny jeans and that's just not what I'm going for. I want something just like loose and baggy and cool looking. So then I found these, these are nice. These are the look I'm going for and everything. They're a little bit, maybe the problem is, is I'm not looking for long enough in the leg because all of the pants at American Eagle came up a little high rise on me. And also these are really thin. The material was really thin and I didn't like the feel of the fabric. Then I found some sailor pants that I thought were super cute. Again, exactly what I was going for at the top part, but the lower half was high water, not what I wanted. Also, the quality just didn't feel as good as the H&M jeans. So these were a pass. All right, well, that was actually better. Let's just, let's just update. Maybe I can drive and update because I have a bazillion errands to run. Lonnie DeFranco, what a random mix. I haven't heard Ani in forever. This song just came on serendipitously and there's a line in it. This is from the 90s. We've been complaining about presidents forever. Who's gonna be president? Oh my god, I fucking love Ani DeFranco so much. Okay, let's get going. What? God, my car is so dramatic. Like, I'm near a bush. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. And my deodorant doesn't feel very effective today. I've seen Ani live twice. So I'm cooler than everybody else. <laughs> And they say that alcoholics are always alcoholics, even when they're dry as my lips for years. I wonder, is he different? Is he different? Is he changed? What he's about? Now many possible pain beneath everything I can think of to think about. Beneath it all, beneath all, get out. Beneath the good and the kind and the stupid and the cruel. I found even better jeans than what I got before from, is that my turn? This is my turn. Even better jeans than I got from H&M the first time. I just returned them all together. I didn't see the ones that I um, got in my size in another color of that kind. So I just got the kind of similar baggy fit, high rise in a better jean color than what actually what I was thinking and I love them. Like, I love them. They're so comfortable. They're high-waisted. They're exactly like the jeans that I have on, but they fit me because I have a woman's body, so it has the right curvature. Because that's the thing about these jeans, they have that, like, little penis thing in the front. <laughs> like, it's like a little, you know, like this little 
pooch that I don't like. That's what I don't like about these jeans. They'd be perfect if they didn't do that. And that's because they're not meant for curves and all that. They're meant for like a man, you know, to like pick them off and pee. I'm so stoked that I went back and exchanged because these are gonna be my go-tos. I love them so, so much. And then I did still get barrel jeans. I just switched them out for, I decided I didn't want the black anymore. I was like, uh, I have some black jeans and they're okay. I don't really want black jeans right now. I'm on a jean jean hunt. And so getting the black jeans kind of goes off of what I'm trying to do, which is get a pair of light and a pair of dark jean color denim that I can wear with various cute sweaters and shirts. So I got the barrel jeans in the right size in the dark color that I originally tried on in the dressing rooms the first time. So I love them, they're super cute, and I really like that H&M feels like sturdy quality, and so when I went to American Eagle, that was the really like the first thing I noticed, and I haven't tried on American Eagle jeans in so long that I forgot what they felt like. All the American Eagle jeans, the fabric felt lesser quality than H&M. It just felt thin, it felt really thin and really stretchy, which was great, because that means they're gonna be so comfortable. But I wanted a little bit sturdier of a fabric, a little bit more quality of a denim. And I felt like the American Eagle denim wasn't that great of quality, and it was more expensive by like $20. So 50 to $60 for jeans at American Eagle, and H&M had them for 29 to 35, and the quality feels far superior. So that was my only thing about American Eagle was like, huh, that was weird. And then also like they had a whole wall of slim skinny leg fit jeans. And it was really hard to find right off the bat any that like weren't skinny leg. So I was like, what's going like, why is this whole store just full of skinny jeans? They just didn't have what I wanted. I'm still looking, I'll still be looking. This is exhausting. I get really excited about thrifting. It makes me excited. I get coffee, I get it's a whole thing. I get dressed up and I get, it's it's relaxing to me and it clears my head but this kind of shit <laughs> going to the mall to pick out jeans is what i think some people feel about thrifting they're like oh it's just such a chore i don't enjoy it and i feel that way about jean shopping <laughs> so now i i was able to kind of relate to that feeling i've heard friends say before about how they feel about um shopping for yeah most things like most friends I know a lot of people don't even like going to the mall or going shopping at all so I get it because that was like I'm t I'm so tired I don't want to do this anymore can we just be done <laughs> I'm over it so I have two pair that I love I'm so excited to style them and wear them and we did good we did good they're cute H&M one You win this time, H&M. All right, thanks so much for watching this video with me this week, you guys. I really appreciate it. Please do subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna get notified when I upload while I'm giving the whole spiel. And I'll see you guys on this next coming vlog this week. And yeah, good old times. Okay, see you later, bye. <laughs>